let's take a look at what we call the three step strategy to solving text completion questions. So in the previous section we were looking at the analogy of a text completion question as a jigsaw puzzle with a missing piece and we were talking about how to predict the color of the pieces. So in text completion what we call colors in a jigsaw puzzle might correspond to things such as signal words, tone and vocabulary. Study the question, study the existing pieces of the question very carefully. Don't look at the options yet. Watch out for cues. The question will give you hidden hints. They will not be very obvious. They are usually subtle. Signal words. We will take a look at what signal words mean. Signal words are clues. Uh, words that give you aspects of the meaning of the sentence such as contrast. If you are contrasting two ideas or if you are comparing two ideas or if you are showing a cause and effect relationship between two parts of the sentence. So we will go into that in depth in our section on signal words. Uh, similarly tone, positive and negative words, vocabulary, sometimes uh, things uh, such as prefixes or suffixes or word roots can give you clues about the contextual meaning of the sentence. So the first thing to do in your analysis part is to study the question really well and watch out for such cues. Secondly, try to predict the meaning that fits each blank and fill your own word into each blank okay? just as uh, we did with the jigsaw puzzle. So I know that this part has to be yellow so I can eliminate anything that is not yellow that's not going to fit here. So I am basically predicting what my answer choice is going to be. Let's do a quick recap of these two strategies. Firstly, study the question. Right? This goes under the analysis part. Analyze what is given to you. Do not try to go to the options immediately and plug in an answer choice. Because if you've ever done a jigsaw puzzle, if you recall the pieces look very similar to each other all of them are roughly the same shape so unless I know that I'm looking for a shape which is yellow here and blue here it's going to be very difficult for me to take each and every piece and try to see if it fits there that's going to be very time consuming so I'm going to first predict what I need and then look at what options I have so this is part of your analysis first study the question secondly try to predict the meaning that goes into the blank. So in my first step I'm really trying to get the big picture. I'm not really concerned with what colors go into this one piece. I'm looking at the shape. I'm seeing that it's a square. I'm seeing how many pieces there are in total. I'm seeing what their relationship is to each other. Unless I get a sense of the context of my missing pieces I'm not going to be able to fit the pieces into the picture. So first I analyze, secondly I try to predict the meaning and thirdly now I go to the options. This is the stage of evaluation. I try to predict first of all what goes into the blank and then I move to the answer choices and I pick the one that matches the word I filled into the blank as closely as possible. If I have done step 2 wrong and there is no word which matches or is close to the meaning of the word that I picked in step 2, I will have to redo step 2. Maybe there is some problem in my fundamental understanding of the sentence. Maybe this wasn't the problem. Maybe I did not study the question closely enough. Maybe I misread a cue. Maybe something was meant to be negative and I assume that it was positive. I may even have to redo this step. So be prepared to go back and reevaluate what you've done. The strategy is pretty flawless but like any theory unless you put it into practice it's not going to help you and you're not going to get better at it. So our aim in this course, in this book is to take you through a lot of questions starting from easier questions moving on to more difficult questions and applying the same strategy over and over again until you get better at it. So this is the three step strategy to recap the strategy. First study the question, 
make sure you do an analysis of it that is as detailed as possible analyze predict and then evaluate your answer choices